don't dance. I just stand in a club, like you know. Like, yeah, just, I'm, I'm nearly 40, so we can't. It's like it's called the dad dance. I know. You know? There's so, a big, big announcement coming out. Yeah. Like it's that. done. They've announced it's it. Done. Yeah. How excited were you? Because I know that you took a couple of vlogs with people not, you know, not with the zone. Now with Canelo, yeah, yeah. everybody's going to want to come. Yeah, the listen. Zone. I mean, this is the ultimate. You know, there's been plenty of naysayers, plenty of people saying, the zone don't work, you know, who's going to watch the zone? You now have the two biggest stars in the sport of boxing on the zone platform. They've been launched for not even a month. Yeah. And this is where we're at at the moment. They're an incredibly aggressive organization. They're excellent at what we do. And this is just the beginning. Eddie, so, it's almost unfair to have Canelo and Anthony Joshua. It's like NBA, the Golden State yeah. Warriors. You're it's just the beginning. It's, it's just like, the beginning. It's, it's just the beginning. Yeah. Because, you know, like I said, there's people who are trying to convince other fighters that the zone won't work or, you know, they won't get the big names or they won't get the subscribers, then what are they going to say now? And like I said, this is just the beginning. They haven't even launched for one month yet. And you've got all this talent on there already. You know, you've got 32 of our shows. Now you've got some Golden Boy shows. You've got Canelo's next 11 fights. It's not that it's just the Rocky Fielding fight. It's 11 of his next fights. Who's that going to be against? Is that going to be against Golovkin? You were paying $85 for a Golovkin fight. Now you're going to pay a monthly subscription. Of course. Was the, was the Genesis uh, the, the Felding Canelo matchup and then the talks with Golden Boy and the Zone, or was that before? Meaning Golden Boy and the Zone? No, I mean we've, we've been talking for a while with with Golden Boy about this fight, and obviously once we knew about HBO leaving, um, we all met in LA last Sunday. Ultimately, wherever Canelo went, Golden Boy were going to go. So obviously that was a deal put together with Oscar and John Skipper in that respect. For us, it was all about doing everything possible to get Canelo to the table to. Uh, design because you know you, he brings with him you're talking about what 1.1 million people paying 85 dollars for his last fight you know his fight against fielding in december is going to be free okay that was a fight that was going to go on hbo pay-per-view for 85 dollars his next fight after that is going to be a, on a subscription basis a monthly monthly service which is just it's a complete game changer for boxing, I with, believe. With the deal like Golden Boy made with uh, the zone, mm -hmm. does that open up matchmaking possibilities between? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't affect our. Well. We still have our 32 shows a year, but you know, it's great because obviously it enabled us to make the fielding fight. We're already talking about a lot of other fights together, like Danny Roman against Ray Vargas. You know, you got Lemieux. You know, we have this Saturday Andrade fighting for the world middleweight title. Next Saturday in this room. We have Danny Jacobs fighting for the world middleweight title. There's every opportunity and chance that in 10 days' time, the entire middleweight belt holders will be designed fighters. Put, put, perhaps yeah. a tournament. Of course. Yeah. But, you know, that's what we aim to do across all the divisions. You know, after Berter, Berterbiev, the IBF champion, we want to sign Dimitri Bivol. You know, we'd like to sign Alvarez, see what happens with Stevenson. So we're looking to corner and capture all of the weight divisions, and the middleweight one will be first. We touch... Would that Andrade becomes world champion again this Saturday. And of course, you know, Canelo has two of those belts as well. Eddie, but, is this like a warning sign for Showtime and like say Fox to sign these fighters like Javante Davis or Charles to exclusive deal to their network where you you probably like one move away to sign all Yeah, of I mean, guys. look, when the news broke last night, my phone was blowing up because all those guys you mentioned, they're all ready to go. Wow. But it's just making that jump, isn't it? It's saying, you know, when you've got advisors and, and promoters in their ear saying, don't go to Eddie Hearn, don't go to DAZN, and then Canelo signs an 11 fight deal with DAZN. You know, the Mikey Garcias of this world, who are sort of, uh, now, should just take off their shirt, leave their swimming trunks on, and just dive straight into the DAZN pool. Because this is gonna shake up the world, and you know, it's, it's such a great deal. That, that has happened here today, and not just for DAZN, but also for the boxing landscape. I believe today, with this announcement, you will see the end of pay-per-view boxing okay. in the US over a period. Not today, but you know, when you're talking about going from an $84.99 or a $99 pay-per-view to a $9.99 or even a free fight like in December, this is gonna change boxing. And it, you know, it's not just Canelo, you know, this is Anthony Joshua. Anthony mm. Joshua against Deontay Wilder, I believe will happen on DAZN as well. And, you know, I saw Bob Aram's comments saying that he thinks that Showtime will follow HBO out of boxing. I, I, I tend to agree with him. Really? Wow. Yeah, because I just think it's going to get so competitive, it's going to get so fierce that, you know, HBO have basically decided, we don't want this anymore, we're out. And everyone's going to have to dig deep because we are literally just getting started. And what you're going to see is a ripple effect, not just coming to Matchroom, but fighters coming to Golden Boy as well, 
having and wanting to fight on his own. If you are a middleweight contender and you want to fight Canelo, or in 10 days, you want to fight for a middleweight world title, you have to be on the zone, yeah. or you will not challenge for the world middleweight title. Yeah. And if you want to fight Anthony Joshua, you have to be on the zone. Eddie, do you anticipate any of the PBC fighters becoming your way? Well, they're already, you know, I mean, obviously, we got uh, Artur Baturbiev, he's supposed to be a PBC fighter, apparently, he's with us. Uh, Jesse Vargas, a sign with us as well. Loads of conversations with others. But I just feel like this news, you know, I know the conversations that I've been having with people who are like, you know, again, going back to the naysayers who want to say that this isn't the right move for them, it won't work. You know, let's look at the arguments. Oh, they won't attract the star fighters. Okay, so we start with Anthony Joshua and Canelo. Not a bad start. Oh, they won't, they won't get the subscribers. We're already had a good run of subscriber base in the last three or four weeks. Now we've got Canelo on the platform. I mean, how many subscribers, if 1.1 million people want to pay $90 to watch Canelo, how many people want to watch him free in December? How many people want to watch the Golovkin rematch for $9.99 a month? Yeah. So that argument's out now as well. So we just have to keep banging down the door, keep knocking down the door and showing people that this is the future of boxing. And you know, we're, we're lucky enough to partner up with people in the zone. They're not stopping. You know, this is, they're just touching the surface. And you know, this deal is such a huge deal with Canelo. They went straight out and got it. You know, John Skipper is a dynamic individual that wants to just change the face of boxing. And when you've got the pockets that these guys have got, you can go and get fighters like Canelo. Eddie, Eddie. Now, now based on this, this deal, mm -hmm. you said there's no more pay-per-view, mm -hmm. right? In terms of Canelo, is this five-year deal? 11, it's 11 five, fights, 11 five years. Five years yeah. All subscription-based, or where it might be a time where a fight may be bigger than that that you have to make? No, the plan, the plan yeah, you, you'll get a chance to speak to John Skipper later, but the plan for Design is to be a subscription service. Ultimately, the first one against Fielding, which you know, they'll talk about in a minute, is free. There is no subscription. You can free subscribe to that fight. So again, that's a, an early Christmas present for fight fans that on HBO would have had to pay $84.99 for that Canelo pay-per-view fight. So you know, their aim is to take boxing away from pay-per-view. Pay-per-view is a very important model in the UK, where we're from, but it's $25 for a major fight. $85, $100. Is, is, a, is so much money and I think fight fans will embrace this move and embrace the zone as a, a way and don't forget it's not just Canelo it's not just Anthony Joshua it's 32 fight nights a year for Matrim it's the World Boxing Super Series three weight classes it's now Golden Boy shows it's the WBSS which we talked about it's the Bellator it's the Combat Americas they're going to be making major sports announcements as well over the next few months and again the zone isn't a fight platform that's just their first sport that they've encapsulated onto the platform. So, you know, this, you're just going to see the subscriber base grow and grow. And Canelo was uh, subscribed to, uh, I believe, $300 million over the course of ten, uh, five or 10 years or so. Is that going to compromise your coffers in terms of signing other fighters to some degree? No, I mean, that's that's the money for Canelo. Right. They've got some shows off the back of that. Of course, you know, people said, oh, is, are they coming out of your shows? No, but they're not going to give Canelo without finding a home sure. for Golden Boy fighters as well. So we'll be working together wherever they went with Canelo they were getting dates. Sure. So now it's under the same umbrella. The great news for us is we're able to go back to those fighters that said, we're almost ready, but we want to see how you get on. Now they'll watch this today and say, right. And we even saw it last night, you know, with the news breaking, mm -hmm. you know, people saying, you've got Canelo, right, okay, mm -hmm. let's talk. Eddie, can you explain how Canelo gets paid? Is it fight on fight? Or does he get paid? Yeah, again, look, that's that's a, that's, that, that's, some, that's something for, for Gold News because that's a question better suited to Gold Newman. But you know, it's uh, obviously you've got to think about the maths in that if he's losing the pay-per-view revenue, that's got to be replaced by rights fee.